We're here at Lakeview Park, a very relaxed evening, five or six days before the biggest game the club have ever played in the FAI Intermediate Cup Final against Crumlin at the Aviva Stadium on Saturday night. I'm joined here by team captain uh, Darren McElwain and centre-back Paul Yang Boyd. Uh, Darren, nice sense of relaxation about here tonight and it's good to see that. Everybody seems to be really looking forward to the game. Yeah, it's been a fantastic four weeks since we reached the final. Charlie, um, there's a great buzz, the amount of good water in the town. Everybody's been very positive to us and I know it's a nice evening out here today to that's it, but no, listen, this, this is a big opportunity for us. And, we're really looking forward to it. Yeah, and Paul, uh, a big occasion for yourself, young man, uh, making his way with Larry Kenny Rovers over the last season. Uh, you couldn't have dreamt that you'd be playing in the Aviva Stadium, I'm sure, when you signed for the club. No, definitely not. Um, it's been a massive year for me, uh, in particular. I came in kind of late October time and kind of had to bide my time to get into the team. It took me probably three or four, four games to get my chance. And ever since then, as Mackie keeps reminding me, I was kind of overweight coming in. And <laughs> I got a lot of runs on the legs. Liam had me running around the track for fun, and I got the weight down, and it's just unbelievable what we've what we've achieved so far with the team. And it's been a, uh, unbelievable. Not even a year. It's been probably se seven months, eight months, and it's it's great to be a part of it. Yeah, I'm not sure who started uh, in the centre backs positions at the start of the season, but uh, yourself and Shane Bradley have come together. Great signing, and I'm sure it must be fantastic playing beside him, Paul. Ah, it's, uh, it's incredible, Shane Bradley. Like, I knew Shane as a wee boy, just, well, I didn't know him personally, but watching him head it and kick it up in Finn Park, and yeah. for him to come in, and, and Mino as well in there, and giving me advice on how to do things, and he's a great he's a great lad to have on board, and we had, a, we had a team meeting there not so long ago, and that was kind of a big turning point where we knuckled down and decided on a few things and Shane was a big part of that and he kind of let us all know that these occasions don't come around too often yeah. so we have to really appreciate it and embrace it embrace it yeah as he said yeah Darren uh, obviously the team have benefited from the fact they've played very four very hard cup matches that you know the, the replays and, and the original games against Ring Mahan and Port Marnock will that stand you in good stead on on Saturday evening we had four national cup games and four weeks in a row yeah and it was just brilliant to be going to them you know our own league's gone a bit of a through a bit of a hard time and we've played nine national cup games at the minute and i think we've played 12 league games or whatever so it's been a cup season it's been brilliant like for us and you know i was just talking about the the, the contrast and styles we had four cup games we had to go to cork which is a battle when you're playing monster teams and then when you play the Leinster teams then there was a bit more football yeah. so it was very very obvious over that four weeks and that's what I expect now when we're going on to play Crumlin that'll be playing an AstroTurf pitch and they'll be play, trying to play a lot of football you know we're, we had when we had to battle against the Cork teams and we had to go down to Dunboy and play on a 4G pitch it was total football we could match them in so we've gone in we've played we've played different types of games and we've come through them Paul was mentioning there about he come in. I think his debut was against Cock in the first round of this game, and yeah. they put on a man of the match performance. And he's been absolutely brilliant since he come in. Paul McVeigh has been excellent, and you know Rory Kelly's been a big help at the yeah. defence. And then yeah. you know everybody seems to step up to the mark, and that's why we're in the final, and that's why I'm fairly confident we can you know we can give a good account of ourselves. Yeah, well, I suggested to Eamon when I was talking to him, Darren, uh, no reason to fear going in to play Crumlin and in, in Aviva because. From what we've seen of the intermediate matches this season, uh, there's nothing between the teams. Kick of a ball, the margins of winning and losing are so small. No, there isn't. Every game's been very tight. Eamon keeps telling us that all year that you know this might go 180 minutes. I think he'd have brainwashed to go to them. Well, they did. Right. <laughs> but he, that's it. Like you know, you can't be. This is it's 20 years since the team got to the final. Don't get me wrong, we're going to be nervous, but we don't want this opportunity pass because of nerves and we're going to have fear a team, but you have to be brave. Like, Cromwell will be, could be licking their lips thinking because, you know, they've played they're a bit of a tough pack as they played Blue Bell, Avondale were former champions not so long ago, and they're probably looking at the far side of the draw and seeing Ring Man, second of the Cork team and ourselves. But uh, listen, we'll be, we're going to have to give a good account of ourselves. We'll work on our own performance. We'll look at a few things that they've 
maybe a few of their students, but it's, it has to be all about us, and we have no reason to be yeah, rude of anybody. Fun. Yeah, Paul Aways, a football man, once said to me, if a team's good enough to get to a final, they're certainly good enough to win it, and that has to be the case. You're, you're there on merit, you're there because you deserve to be there, and it's 90 minutes away from a wonderful achievement. 100%. We're not just going down to make up the numbers. We're going down to take these boys on head on. Uh, as Mackie kind of said there, them boys will be, they'll be confident. They've been there four or five times in the last few years. So I was watching a clip there yesterday actually of Luffy Wanderers in the AUL. Yeah. They won it last year, the Junior Cup. Yes. And they beat Sheriff in the final. And I was just to see the dimensions of it, the Viva, just watching it to see that. And they got two set pieces and they defended well and that. And that's the kind of stuff we might need to do down there. So look at we're not going down to play Barcelona, we're going down to play Crumlin, who are a very good side, but we're a damn good side as well and we'll give it a fair shot. Yeah. If these guys keep a clean sheet, Maka, one goal will do it. Well, uh, I keep reminding them that if they keep it out of the back, they've always a chance for me up front. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Absolutely right. And the beauty of it, my record backs that up, Charlie. Good for you. <laughs> Listen, lads, lovely talking to you and a, and a lovely evening here. And we look forward to a great occasion on Saturday night there, Viva. Thanks, Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you.